Welcome back to another Pick A Card Reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all are doing absolutely great. <laughs> so today's reading is uh, how do they feel about you, okay? And we have three groups for you to choose from. Group one, two, and three. If you want to pause the video so that you can take some time to choose your group, feel free. But I shall see you all in your readings. Hi, so you've chosen the first group. Welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? So the first card we do have is the Knight of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Pentacles upright, and the King of Swords upright. So they feel that you are impatient. This does feel like it is in terms of you offering them love, um, offering them, you know, maybe commitment, moving forward, creating a plan on how you both may move forward. They do feel like you are emotionally withdrawing from them, um, maybe because you aren't getting what you want from them. And they do feel like you are in some way unstable right now. This does feel like it's in terms of telling the truth. So for some of you, maybe you told the truth and now they think that you are uh, in some way unstable. But please only take that if it resonates. For some of you, it could be, you know, instability in another, in another way or maybe not at all. <laughs> but yeah, they feel that you aren't loyal to them. But for some of you, they feel that you wouldn't be loyal to them especially if this person isn't uh, financially stable or if they're not as committed to growth, you know, whether this be personal growth, financial growth, or maybe even growth in terms of your connection. But yeah, they feel like you are irresponsible um, or at times or in general for some of you. They could feel like you're maybe behaving irresponsibly and this could be in terms of being judgmental or what they would perceive as being judgmental so justice card they feel like maybe you told them the truth and they could feel shaken by what you told them Maybe they feel like you wasn't supposed to know this it's like how did you even find this out and because of that they could feel like you you are somehow being irresponsible or somehow being unstable because of this information or knowledge that you presented to them you know yeah so yeah for some of you if you have like judged this person or if you've kind of told them something that you felt was true um, they could feel like you're being irresponsible about that you know whether it's true or not they could feel somehow you're ir irresponsible for doing that but anyway so yeah they do feel like you took a risk on them they feel that you aren't uh they feel that they aren't your usual type and I don't know if that's what this risk is referring to though but they do feel you leaving them or uh, for some of you, you know, again, this could be like leaving them emotionally, maybe not trying as much. But for others of you, they feel like you are literally leaving them. Or maybe for some of you, you've already left this person and they're kind of feeling that loss, you know. Beautiful. 
<clears throat> yeah, they feel like you are investing in other things right now. They feel like you aren't giving them um, the same amount of attention that you used to. And I don't know where you stand with, you know, the person you're asking about right now. But it feels like they feel they can get you back. They feel like they can get you back into their lives. Or for some of you, if you're still in this person's life, they feel like they can get you back, like, emotionally. Like, say, if you have emotionally distanced yourself from them, they feel like they can get you back uh, that way, you know. But for others of you, you've left this person or, you know, a separation or of some sort happened and they feel like they can win you back and get you back in terms of that but they do feel like they want to start over with you because they do feel that the foundation you both created was either the fact foundation you was creating or the foundation you was in the process of creating with this person you know either way they feel like it has now been broken or you know is somehow tainted now but you know despite that they do feel like they want to start over like they feel you are very secure and this could be in your confidence this could be financially this could be you know your position in life but they do feel like you are you know secure one second yeah they feel like you're secure like for some of you they feel like you're quite comfortable in life okay yeah so they could feel like you're quite comfortable with where you're at but they also recognize that they need to add to your security like this is something they want this is something they desire to add to your security it doesn't feel like they want to you know take advantage of your security It just feels like with you by their side, they feel like they can win in life and be successful. They feel like you are a person of value, you know, and they feel that you are very strong. Uh, they feel they feel more determined about you as well, like in their mind and in their actions, they want to be more determined or they just feel more determined, for, feel more sure. Hmm. they do feel like you need to be honest with them or to need to be more honest with them i can't really pinpoint any specific reasons uh for some of you maybe you're aware of what this could possibly be but for others of you it could just be in general uh okay so for some of you this could actually be about you not willing to be taken advantage of and maybe they feel like you need to be more vocal or be more honest about that. Maybe they feel like you need to be more honest about what you want. Let me see. For some of you, they feel like you need to be more honest in terms of your responsibilities. But, you know, please only take that if it makes sense. So, yeah, they feel like you are very level-headed, though. Um, or at least trying to remain level-headed. Like, say, for example, there's a situation you could get angry about, you could be stressed out about. But instead, you're, you're deciding to remain cool, composed, you know. So they either, either that or they kind of just view feel like you're that person in general yeah but they do feel like you're a super cool person though um 
they feel also that they need to be more assertive with you and this honestly this doesn't feel like it's to control you but to show you that they can be strong for some of you to show you who's boss but please only take that if it makes sense and like aligns with them but they definitely feel like they need to earn your respect you know they it feels like they definitely need to earn your respect but they do feel like you are somewhat detached from them um but I'm not feeling this from them to you if anyone was like wondering if they're feeling detached from you it doesn't they feel quite determined uh about you and this could be in terms of planning a future with you or this or just planning some forward movement movement with you ace of swords as well so for some of you, they could be determined to reach out to you to kind of hit a breakthrough with you. So I want to feel your skin against my own. So they feel like you want or you need more physical intimacy from them. They could feel like maybe physical touch is your love language. They could also feel like being intimate with you as well. Okay, so we have here, it looks like I'm paying attention, but really I'm mapping out your nakedness in my mind. So they feel like you have a beautiful body. Yeah, so I'm not really getting much else from that card. So we also have here uh is it bad that i've never made love so they actually feel bad that they didn't love you properly or the way that you you know desire or like to be loved So we also have I'm so used to flying solo. All right, so this person, they feel like they're so used to having freedom, so used to, you know, riding solo, kind of going through life on their own, being independent. And they kind of feel like either this lifestyle, you know, even if it was, was or wasn't a choice, like they feel that it has kind of warped their perspective. like in terms of relationships and it's like they're starting to realize that you know they're starting to realize how that mentality kind of impacts you how it impacts relationships as well there are so many things left unsaid So this person, they feel like there's, there was, I don't know if this is a current energy, this feels like a past energy as well, but they feel like there was a lot of things that you didn't get off your chest when it came to them. You know, they definitely feel like there was a lot unsaid from you, perhaps, from both of you. It's, it's almost like they feel like you left a lot on your heart and they did that you didn't vocalize to them for some of you maybe they feel like you left them depending on your situation but for, for some of you here they feel like you left them without you know saying how you felt you know saying what's on your heart how do they feel about you? I want you close, please don't run from me. Okay, so yeah, this person definitely feels like they want you close. They do want positive changes. Uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, they could want a chance as well. 
they don't really feel like you would run for that run from them though they may feel like you may push them away a little bit but yeah they do they do want you close you know they do feel like opening up to you emotionally or you know page of cups was that good news maybe offering you love but yeah they they do want you closer they they could actually feel quite optimistic about that as well we also have we need to talk They feel like you need to talk to them more. But most importantly, they do feel like you both need to have a conversation. Let me put this up here. So we have, I masturbate to the four of you. <laughs> so yeah, they feel like you're quite delicious. They feel like you're very sexy. they i don't know if this makes sense but they feel like you're the person of their dreams like that you're the person they fantasize about basically you know okay so we also have i see your scars oh i just saw four 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 yeah three fours <laughs> so four of cups came out to clarify they feel like if any of you have any wounds, trauma, scars, they feel like this is a reason why they need to not give up. You know, this is a reason why they... Is the camera looking weird? Like, they feel like this is a reason why they need to continue. Let me see. Maybe get their head, head out the sand in some way. They feel like this is a reason they need to stay more optimistic. Hmm. like they feel like they need to make changes because of the scars that you have you know nothing will stand in my way yeah they're feeling real determined clarified by the lovers card you know they could be determined to have this you know this outcome of you To have a, a commitment with you. So we also have instant connection. Hmm. So they actually feel like you felt an instant connection with them. We have here dishonesty. Hmm. So they feel like too much dishonesty has happened between you both and they feel like you both deserve a chance to make amends for that, you know? And finally, not finally, but we also have, I'm not sure. Yeah, they feel unsure about how things are going to pan out between the two of you. But they do feel hopeful. They do feel optimistic about it. And uh, what do we have? Finally, we have balanced life. Love seeks your well-being. How do they feel about you? They feel like they want a balanced life with you. Yeah. So we have the Eight of Cups followed by the Queen of Cups. Maybe they kind of want to leave the past behind, any disappointment. Uh, maybe if anyone abandoned someone in this connection, they kind of want you both to leave it behind you and, you know, be emotionally open and available to each other. Yeah, they want you both to love on each other. They definitely want for there to be balance between you both. 
but anyways that is all i have for this group i do hope it could resonate i do hope it could be helpful and i'm wishing you all the best okay so please take care of yourselves bye hi there welcome to your reading if you've chosen the second group then this reading is for you so the person on your mind how do they feel about you okay i'm going to start off with your tarot cards king of cups in reverse a page of pentacles in reverse and we also have the death card in reverse Uh, so for this group, it does feel like they don't feel the most positive feelings towards you at this moment. They feel that you are stuck in the past somehow. What they do feel very emotional in regards to you as well. It feels like they don't feel supported. Like they want to be a victim of some kind. Maybe they are, but they also recognise that you maybe did support them. So it's almost like they're trying to lie to themselves about the support you did give them. But maybe that's not for everyone though. But yeah, they do feel like you aren't or you refuse to open up to them. They do feel the need to control you. For others of you though, they could feel like you're trying to control them. They could even feel like you don't care about them or you're just not showing them as much care as they would like. And they could also feel that you are maybe depressed at this time or maybe, um, you know, it's something that you unfortunately have to deal with. So for some of you here, this person, they feel like they shouldn't have cheated on you, but please only take that if it resonates. But it's weird because at the same time, it doesn't really feel like they have any remorse about it. If anything, it feels like they would do it again. But yeah, they could feel that you were trying to control them. And this does feel like it is referring to the past as opposed to, you know, currently. So yeah, this person, they felt that you were naive, but they see that they were wrong. And they do really feel a desire for you as well. But at the same time, they feel like you are manipulative or you were, you know, manipulating some in some type of way. And for some of you, this could be in terms of your wealth, uh, your beauty, uh, maybe self-care, you know, having fun. But it could be about something else or maybe nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, so this person, they somehow felt subdued or oppressed with you or by you. It's like they, unfortunately, it's like this person, they don't feel uh, a loyalty towards you. This could be at the moment or in general, but they do feel, they also feel like you will give them bad news, like tell them something they aren't trying to hear. This could be about marriage specifically for some of you. And they could feel like you both are incompatible in terms of goals as well. And they could feel like you aren't making enough effort to move forward in your life. or maybe towards a goal that you have or had. 
they feel that you feel that your options are too limited. But they kind of feel maybe that you're limiting yourself as opposed to your options. It's like this person, they don't really feel like making any changes to your connection or they don't feel like trying with you. And this could be at this moment or it could be in general as well. They could also feel like you're finding it hard to move on from them. They could also feel that you fear starting over again or you're hesitant to. And this doesn't only need to be related to love, though, but they do feel like you are a bit hesitant to start over, to move forward in some way. They could feel like you're stubborn. Three of Wands came out to clarify, so maybe, you know, stubborn in terms of moving forward in some way. Creating a plan. And for some of you here, this person, they either fear or feel that you would be dependent on them or too dependent on them. They could feel like you're irresponsible as well. This could be in terms of friends. Uh, this could be emotionally. For some of you, they could feel like you are emotionally manipulative, but please only take that if it makes sense. Yeah. So how do they feel about you? We have here take the lead. So this person, they feel like they would have to take the lead with you or they feel like they do need to take the lead with you. Like they feel like they need to be the one uh, like in charge, making changes, initiating things. Uh, but with the hangman being at the bottom, it feels like they... It feels like they don't really want to make that sacrifice, you know, in terms of leading another person or maybe leading you. So we also have I've been through some stuff. Yeah, they feel like you have been through some unfortunate things. And it does make them feel sad, it feels like. But at the same time, they kind of feel like you need, not, I don't, I don't want to say need to, but they feel like you should move forward. Not, I don't, it doesn't, I don't really feel comfortable saying that, but yeah, they feel like you should move forward um, and kind of find some sort of stability, uh, success or co accomplishments manifest something for yourself make something happen for yourself maybe even like utilize your talents your gifts they it almost feels like this person you know thinks that you have a lot going for yourself so we also have i don't know how this will end but i know that i want to try So for some of you here, it feels like this person is almost saying like, if you were to make changes or if changes were to happen between us, then I think I might want to try, you know, with you. Try moving forward with you, finding balance. But it feels like they don't really know what they're going to do.
yeah they really do feel uncertain about how things are gonna end or you know turn out between the two of you so we also have is it too late to say sorry Yeah, so this person, they feel like you want to, they feel like you're the one that wants to make amends. They feel like you're the one that wants to apologize, uh, perhaps move forward. But for some of you here, it really does feel like a part of this person kind of thinks or feels it's too late uh, for amends to be made. You know, with the judgment card here, maybe they feel like a final judgment call was made on someone's behalf so we have his shadow work for some of you here they feel like you need to heal uh, maybe find your independence or maybe work on your independence follow your dreams in some way or you know find something that fulfills you or someone that fulfills you. But yeah, they do feel like there is some healing that needs to happen for you. We also have it's a problem. How do they feel about you? For some of you, they could feel like their connection to you is a problem. Two of cups, seven of swords. They feel like it could potentially become a problem, their feelings for you or your feelings for them. What do they think is a problem? One second. Why do they feel your connection is a problem? Oh, hello. For some of you, they feel like they can't be honest with you. And that could be a problem for them or they feel like it will turn into a bigger problem for the both of you. Okay, so we have I miss you. Hmm. So they actually feel like you both miss each other. So we also have, it's too late to say sorry. And we, what? Okay, yeah, it's too late to say sorry. So for some of you here, it really is coming across like this person feels like it's too late for you to apologize about something. Oh. This could be about your friends, maybe socializing. For some of you, it could be drinking. It could be something you're more aware of as well, or maybe nothing. <laughs> uh, so we have here hell, yes. So please only take this if it resonates, but the message I'm getting is like this person, they feel like you would take them back in a second. Do you have more from this card? How do they feel about you? For some of you, they feel receptive to you. I'm going to see what this is about. They feel receptive to you in what way?
this could be in terms of drama but i don't even know what that means in terms of being receptive so please only take that if it resonates okay anyways so we also have i'm a little distracted right now So yeah, they could feel like you're distracted. Three of Cups came up again. So they could feel like you're distracted. Sorry, I thought I saw something flying towards me. So yeah, they, they could feel like you're distracted. Uh, yeah, Three of Cups again. They could feel like you're distracted by friends or just people around you. Maybe socializing, maybe meeting new people. I don't know, I was going to see this card. We have here blah, blah, blah. So for some of you here, it's like they feel like you have nothing new to say to them. Or that you wouldn't have anything new to say to them. Balls deep. They do feel like digging deeper with you though. They could feel like you're a mystery to them or you're a bit secretive about something. And they do want to maybe kind of get to the bottom of something. So we also have here, keep it real with me, be blunt, clear and honest communication is important to me. So they feel like clear and honest communication needs to be more of a priority in your connection. And that could be from them, it could be from you. And finally, we have fine wine. Longing is the portal to wholeness. Oops. So yeah, this person could actually feel like you're longing for them. They feel like you think about them quite often as well. And they could actually feel like you're the one that wants to make things right with them too. But yeah, that is all I have for this group. I really do hope it could be helpful to someone. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hey, so you've chosen the third group. Welcome to your reading. I hope you're doing really good. So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? And we'll start off with your tarot cards, okay? Ooh, spicy. <laughs> so we have the Ace of Wands upright, Three of Pentacles upright, and the Nine of Wands upright. So they feel very, very attracted to you. They want to get to know you or they want a new beginning with you. They feel so much passion towards you as well. They feel that you are someone that they can have a future with. They definitely feel that you both have uh, potential. They also feel like you have potential in other ways as well. Um, but yeah, you make them feel really excited more than they felt ever or more than they felt for a very very long time they feel like you are going places in life you know and this could be in very subtle ways it doesn't have to be in like extreme ways but they do feel like you are going places 
you know, they see it and they feel that you are fun. For some of you, they feel that they could have a lot of fun with you depending on, you know, your relationship to this person. But yeah, they feel like you have options and depending on where the two of you are right now, they feel, they could feel like you might meet someone new. Like they could feel someone else might spark your interest. But yeah, they do feel like you're very attractive. I feel like I said that already. <laughs> but yeah, they feel also that you're really confident. But for some of you, it may not be that. It could be that as well. But it could also be that they feel very confident about you, you know, about you as a person, about moving forward with you. Like they feel a certain certainty <laughs> when it comes to you, you know. But yeah, they do feel like they need to taste take a risk with you they feel that you are very smart very talented as well it feels like they're all geared up and ready to take action towards you or towards something specific that involves you so yeah they, uh, they, a part of them feels like you're not easy um you're a bit of a challenge to them or for them and, uh, you know, for some of you, they do feel like starting a family with you, possibly having a baby with you, you know, they feel like you are making so much progress. And this could be in terms of, let me see, one second. Okay, yeah, so for some of you, they feel like you're making so much progress in terms of uh, not limiting yourself or getting out of a situation that could have possibly been limiting to you. But yeah, they feel like you are someone who's quite sure, uh, very decisive as well about yourself. It could be about other things or it could just be in general as well. They feel grateful that they recognize you discovered you found you but they almost feel like how the two of you met was quite serendipitous in a way and they are grateful that they did you know they feel very grateful that they met you they feel like you are someone who's really intelligent they feel that you have great awareness as well of yourself of others or you just have you know a great attention to detail for some of you this could be in the way you put yourself at Put yourself together your appearance oh one second for some of you this could be in terms of how you handle your emotions for some of you here they do feel that you are either committed to someone or something else whether it be a person work it doesn't have to be referring to romantic like say for example you're committed to you know, your sibling or um, your parents or, you know, a child, you know, your family, if you have one. But yeah, they do feel like your commitments are in other places right now. But they do feel that you are very hardworking and they definitely see you growing. They notice the growth that you have been through or that you're currently experiencing. And, you know, they definitely feel that they have to put in that work. For you that I definitely feel like you won't come easily to them if that makes sense they definitely feel like you are someone of a higher quality they really do feel like you're successfully moving forward in your life though you know they feel really crazy about you as well and they could also feel that you both are compatible or they feel that you both would be compatible. And they do feel that you are really challenging in some way. Or they feel like a relationship is or will be challenging with you. And this could be work, work related for some of you. Uh, for some age differences or difference in experiences, you know, maybe stages of life. For some of you, responsibilities. They also feel or they've also noticed that you have faced delays and setbacks in your life. 
For some of you, it may not be about you though. It could be that they feel that they face setbacks and delays when it comes to you. But it feels like they're willing to make it work, kind of push forward and, you know, make it happen with you. But they, for some of you here, they could feel that you are guarded or you just don't trust too easily. But they feel determined, they feel like they need to be persistent or they feel the desire to be persistent when it comes to you. For some of you here, they definitely notice that you are feeling tired, that you could be feeling drained. They, for some of you, they feel that you are, you know, tired of fighting. And for some of you, this really does feel like fighting your way through life. You know, the constant challenges, the constant hard work. So, yeah, they definitely feel that you could be feeling drained because of that. So we have uh, fudge me now. <laughs> so yeah, they definitely feel very sexually attracted to you. The Ten of Cups and then the Four of Wands came out to clarify. So they could definitely feel that you are someone they could have a long-term commitment with. Uh, Eight of Cups came out to clarify. Maybe someone needs to walk away or fully put something behind them before that's able to happen. <laughs> one second okay so this person they feel that you know that they like you or they feel that you know they're interested in you two of cups selfless Oh, so this person, they feel like you're very kind, generous, and selfless. But they also feel like they want to treat you this way. But again, the world card came out. So that feels like someone needs to find closure. It could be them, a uh, five of wands, maybe... You know, a situation that could potentially be, you know, filled with a bit of drama and they do feel like they need to leave that behind and kind of move forward from that uh, in order to kind of treat you in the selfless way that they want to. Because it does feel like they, let me see, it does feel like they want to spoil you to a certain degree, like treat you as special as that, you know, they find you. So we have here, trust your intuition. Hmm. yeah so their intuition their gut their their desires their feelings is all pointing towards you and this person they're trying to trust their intuition when it comes to you you know and what's their intuition telling them let me see sorry one second what is their intuition telling them Their intuition could be telling them to protect you. And that does mean being careful, being careful about a relationship with you or a connection with you. Their intuition could also be telling them to stand up for you. This may not be for everyone though. So we also have don't judge me. So this person, they feel that you don't judge them. They feel that you're non-judgmental. And this is another reason why they really like you. We have, at this point, you're just playing yourself. How do they feel about you? so for some of you here please only take this if it resonates but for some of you they feel that you could end up playing them and this could be because 
they feel that you are someone with so much potential they feel like you have a lot of options and because of that depending on who this person is to you or what you know of them they feel that you could potentially you know play them you know oh, okay so we have here protection Hmm. okay so this person they do feel that you are guarded in certain ways but for others of you they feel that you're very protective of someone else in your life like say for example you have a child they feel like you're very protective over this child you know and it'll be very hard you know for anyone to kind of take your attention away from either this person or this thing for some of you like say for example uh you have a, a business or you your career they could feel like you're very protective over that but they definitely feel you're very protective over something else and not necessarily uh only directed towards yourself though so we have here this connection will forever affect me Okay, so for some of you here, they really do feel like they've made an impact on you. Maybe they're hoping they've made an impact on you. So, wow, we have you have the qualities I look for in a partner. So, yeah, they do feel that you both could be very compatible. They feel like you have a lot of qualities that this person loves and adores and, you know, that they can see uh, in their long term future, if that makes any sense. So we have here long strokes. Mm -hmm. So obviously they do find you very sexually attractive. They do, you know, feel a desire to be intimate with you as well. But at the same time, they feel like they need to move slowly with you. They definitely feel like they need to tread cautious, cautiously when it comes to you and a connection with you. So we have here so pure yet so dirty and raw. So they do feel like you are very beautiful. They feel like you have an innocence to you. They feel, let me see. They could feel like you're really chill, down to earth. But at the same time, they definitely recognize that you have, you know, that edge to you. Or maybe they kind of just feel like you're raw in terms of, let me see. Maybe in terms of being vulnerable. But yeah, they definitely feel like you have that duality to you. So we also have I deserve better. So this person, they feel like you deserve better. Maybe than what you've had in the past. They definitely feel like they can change that. If you can even see the light is kind of getting in the way. surprise surprise so we have here you are so fudge and sexy yeah so they definitely feel very attracted to you they definitely feel like you're so delicious like they feel like you're very sexy and okay <laughs> so we also have i want to do unspeakable things to you i'm gonna leave that to your imagination They basically feel like you guys could have some fun together, okay? Wink, wink. <laughs> and finally, we have celebrate life, make your life a celebration. So they feel like you live it up. They feel like you are maybe optimistic. They feel like you make your life a celebration. They could feel, let me see, that you're just a happy person, a happy soul. Or that you're just not afraid to have fun, let your hair down, be a bit daring, be a bit risky, you know? <laughs> but it also feels like they just kind of want to enjoy fun times with you as well, clarified by the Ten of Cups. But anyways, that is all I have for this group. I do hope it could resonate, be helpful, um, but I am wishing you all the best, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Bye.